This is Optimal Relationships Daily. How to Stay Active When You Have a Family, Part 1, by Steve Cam of NerdFitness.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Glad to have you with us. I am your host, Greg Audino. In today's episode of ORD, we are doing our usual shift into parenting and reading a piece that will shine some light on how to help the whole family cultivate and nurture a healthy and active lifestyle. Now, today's post is a bit longer than usual, so I'm splitting it up into two, half today, half tomorrow. This will give you guys something to look forward to, and it'll be good for me, too, since my reading and comprehension skills topped out around sixth grade. Wouldn't want to overload myself. <laughs> Uh, but enough from me. Let's get right into part one and start optimizing your life. How to Stay Active When You Have a Family, Part 1, by Steve Cam of NerdFitness.com Staying active can feel like an uphill battle. It seems like there's always something getting in the way of your routine, an emergency at work, an impending deadline at school, a friend in town to visit, or the next quest in your favorite RPG that won't stop calling your name. It can be hard enough dodging all of life's obstacles, but when you have a family, it's like playing the game of life on legendary difficulty. After all, it's easy to feel guilty after spending all day away from your loved ones while working, and then asking for even more time away to focus on leveling up your life. You might be wondering, is it possible to stay active and healthy and spend tons of quality time with your family? As a parent, staying active and being healthy isn't just about you finding time to take care of business but about cultivating a mindset and habits to keep the whole family on track. It's about finding a way for you all to enjoy healthy habits. Today, we're going to talk about how your family can spend some quality time together while being active together. Are you actually enjoying yourself? We often think of exercise as something to be endured rather than enjoyed. When fitness is looked at as a chore, it's a really tough habit to build. Factor in a few kitties, a loving husband or wife, and the inevitable unexpected surprises that come with a family, and it's easy to see how exercising gets moved to the bottom of the to-do list, right above voluntary root canal. So, we need to start with actually enjoying ourselves. It's one more day above the roses, and that's a good day to be alive, right? When looking to find ways to stay active with your family, always start from a point of fun and work your way backwards. What can I do that makes me happy and feel alive and also happens to get my heart racing? That's the theory behind the play out. Exercise doesn't have to feel like a chore. In fact, exercise can be fun, especially when you get your kids involved. Think about it. Kids get to roll around in the mud, climb on stuff, make up imaginary games, the ground is lava, and they're having so much fun that they don't realize they're exhausted and breathing heavy and just had an awesome workout. So... I hereby give you permission to act like a giant child. Take your kids for a hike one afternoon, even if it's into the woods in your backyard and you pretend to be explorers. Ever read Bridge to Terabithia? You'd be surprised what kids can create with their imagination. Create a game or a contest with them. The ground is lava. Who can do the most cartwheels, etc.? Have fun with it. Just get outside and be active. It's the perfect time of year. Get dirty. Roll down hills, jump in puddles, climb trees, just have some freaking fun with it. This is a chance to bond with your kids in a way that will both improve your life and their lives. Win-win, sucker. Now, let's say you still enjoy doing structured exercise, but maybe life is too busy now that you have kids. We're going to look to an 80s TV star for help. MacGyver it. With kids and families, every minute counts. We all know that eating right is 80 to 90% of the battle. So that final 10% can come in any type of exercise you can fit in, whenever you can fit it in. Things aren't going to go according to plan, and you're not going to always have that perfect 60-minute window to get to the gym. So you need to become MacGyver, and always have a plan B and a plan C for when things go wrong. It's funny, but once you stop accepting and allowing yourself to use excuses as to why you're not exercising, suddenly finding the time to get it done takes care of itself. What's that? You're busy from the time the kids wake up till the time they go to bed? Wake up just five minutes earlier and try the PLP challenge using a door frame pull-up bar so you don't even have to leave your bedroom. Your turn to watch the kids? Create contests and backyard Olympics tinfoil medals, like in the office. Then you can inspire your kids with great feats of strength, push-ups with a kid on your back, or planks, hikes with a kid riding piggyback, whatever. Heck, you can even do pull-ups while your kid is on the swing set or teach your kids to do handstands. 
Feeling crazy? Do pull-ups with your kid on your back. Hey, if NF Rebel Bronwyn can do it, why not you someday? Do something. I don't care what you do, but it's vital for you to do something. I'm trying to play more music, so my keyboard and guitar are right in the middle of my living room. Not surprisingly, I'm playing more music than I ever have in the past. Five minutes is enough time to do some push-ups or squats or hang out in a plank. Sure, you might get funny looks from the other parent, but wouldn't you much rather be known as that weird in shape parent that does push-ups than the really overweight, unhealthy parent? Exercise is not all or nothing. It's not, I need 60 minutes or why bother? It's, do the best you can with what you have, where you are. You'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. Become MacGyver and exercise anytime, anywhere. Your offspring will thank you for instilling that habit in them. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, How to Stay Active When You Have a Family, by Steve Cam of NerdFitness.com, and I'll be back with my comments in just a sec. And a wonderful start, if I do say so myself. So important to realize that this philosophy of fun intertwined with exercise not only motivates kids to take part when they are kids, but also allows them to associate exercise with fun and good memories, thus making it way more likely for them to look upon exercise favorably for the rest of their lives. So, to me, this really feels like the mindset gift that keeps on giving, uh, if you will. (laughs) Anyway, can't wait to hear more from Steve. Truly the sign of a good storyteller here, leaving us wanting more. And we'll get more tomorrow from Steve in the rest of his article. So, I will see you there for part two, where your optimal life awaits.